So yeah guys, it's, it's a quite a cool case, but unfortunately it's not for me. Um, trust me, it's a really good case, but and I don't want to diss the company. It is a really good case, but again, it's not for me. It doesn't suit my needs. It will suit some of your needs, obviously, because everyone's different. Everyone's got different purposes for the bag. And I've got friends who really like the bag, and they were saying, oh, give it to me, give it to me. And uh, I was like, no, I'm, I promised the YouTube people, my subscribers, that this is going to get given away once I've reviewed it. So it's not for me. It's going to be... It's probably for you guys, you know, because... But the reason why it's not for me is because it's not got enough compartments in terms of what I need it for and it just doesn't feel the one the one I'm using just now is called it's a Targus bag. It's not a messenger bag for, for one. I'm not really used to messenger bags. I've got a normal school bag, well the school bag styles, you know, the old fashioned ones. I prefer them ones and I think that's it's a bit of a change coming on to this one I suppose. So yeah, it's not for me. It's uh, it's probably for you guys. It's uh, it's not something that I would use all every day. Uh, main, mainly because I'm not really used to carrying messenger bags, and yeah, everyone's different. So just a quick overview of the bag. I'm gonna put my MacBook inside and show you what it's like. There it is lying there in the Apple sack. That's also Apple sack. You've probably seen my video for the review and the unboxing. So let's go ahead and put it in. here, open this up, put it in here, it's a really good fit in here by the way, just to say it's not it's not loose or it's not really tight, it's just perfect for for the aluminium MacBook 2.0, which is what I've got, it probably could get the MacBook Pro in as well, the 15 inch, I'm not too sure about the 17 inch, I'm not too sure, um, you'd be better off calling uh, or speaking to Apple so I can confirming before you get it whether it will fit the MacBook Pro 17 inch or not. It will certainly fit the MacBook Pro 15 inch with no problem. Uh, but yeah, look at that. That is where my MacBook's gone. I've got space for documents to put my school, uh, my university stuff in, my files, you know, I've got plenty of space there. Um, I've got, you know, I've got space for pens, my highlighters, my ink or whatever it is. And then I've got you know, some more space here for some extra bit of things, you know, staplers and whatnot. I've got my mouse there because I like carrying an external mouse with me. I've got my calculator there as well, which I've said for the 50th time. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, it's, it's a really good bag. Uh, the only thing, good thing I like about this bag, in terms of my personal opinion, is this part here. I really like the protection for the MacBook it gives you, of this section here inside, a really good, good protection for the MacBook. My current bag which I'm using doesn't give that sort of protection. So yeah, that's probably the only thing I like about it. It's definitely no, no doubt a really good bag for some of you people and I know quite a lot of you are waiting for this video mainly because you're interested in getting one. But because I'm not really used to messenger bags it's not my cup of tea. So yeah, overall if I were to rate it myself, I'd probably give it a 7 or an 8. Not that high up as my other videos, but I think that just comes into personal preference. Um, obviously not everyone's made the same, and not everyone's got different styles and tastes. And yeah, I'm not, not saying this is a bad product, I'm not, I'm far from it. It's a really good product, but it doesn't suit, it's not suitable for my needs. That's all I'm trying to say. So don't take it as if I'm dissing the company or dissing the product. Know that it's a great product, but it doesn't suit my needs or it doesn't fit my lifestyle. Um, I hope that's a bit clear. Uh, I don't want to be coming at it as a negative, from a negative point of view. Far from it. Um, so I'm approaching uh, my 10 minute YouTube limit, so I better finish the video off there. Do some quick shots. I will be getting my iPod Touch on Monday or Tuesday. 1st or 2nd of December, so look out for the unboxing videos for that. I'm going to be getting some cases for the iPod Touch. Um, I'll talk about that in a later video, I don't want to spoil this video with iPod Touch. <laughs> so yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you like the video, please rate, comment and subscribe. Um, 
I hope this video has helped you in uh, you know, getting some sort of idea of what the bag is going to look like when you get it. Um, yeah, if you've got any comments or any messages, feel free to send them and I'll respond them ASAP. Um, yeah, so thanks AppleSack once again, check AppleSack.com and uh, yeah, thanks for watching, see you.